All right, so we're almost done getting our uh, utility data into usable format, and this uh, short, shorter video is going to show you how to do the, sort of the last um, column of our list data here, which is the kilowatt hours used. So if we go back to our raw data, um, again, the, the goal of this is to make, these are 15-minute intervals of, of kilowatt hours, and the goal is to make, and then um, each day goes down in rows like this. So you can see we want this this row completely to be the first 96 values of kilowatt hours in our list data, and then we want the next 96 um, values to be here. So we'll end up with just a straight line of kilowatt hours used, and then we can do anything we want with it um, easily in Excel or other um, data programs such as a System Advisor model, which we'll use. So let's first uh, just, just sort of review the index function. Um, if we remember the index function, takes an array um, of values in and it uh, manipulates them. So let's do, um, let's start here. So let's just say we started here with our index function and let's just do one, one. So how it works is it's the array or the, um, you know, a full matrix of values here with, with rows and columns. And then this is the row number and this is the column number. We hit enter, and uh, right now it's, it's, it says a time, so let's do a uh, number. Um, that's one, one right here, because if again, if we look, that's the, the first row and the first column. So let's just um, update the row. Let's do the fifth row, and let's not update the column. So what happens is, is that's one, two, three, four, five, and we can see if we put out a few more decimal places that it exactly matches. Then let's go back to the first row and do the fifth column. And if we do that, we can see that one, two, three, four, five, it's right there. And then again, just to show the complete um, usability of this, let's go ahead and do five, five. Um, again, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So we can see this index is very powerful, and it's going to allow us to pick um, what row and column um, we want to pick. And again, we're, we, all we want to pick out is the kilowatt hours, and then we want to pick out um, the kilowatt hours depending on what 15-minute interval we're in and depending on what day we're in. So let's just delete that because we're not going to need that, uh, that column. And let's go ahead to list data. So now that we've uh, seen how the index function works, now let's actually use it to do the kilowatt hours used. So let's go ahead and do equals index, open parentheses. Now the array is going to be all the numbers from this spreadsheet. So we're going to start with the first number we're going to use and then go all the way to the bottom right corner of the last. Okay. And then um, the big thing about this is we want to make it absolute reference. So let's go ahead and hit F4 with both of these. And that'll make it absolute reference by putting the two um, dollar signs on either side. Um, comma. So let's just first make sure it works. Let's do 1, 1. It should be 9.54, which it is. Good. So then what we're going to do is we're going to um, change each of the row num and column number first. The first thing we know is that the column number is always going to be equal to the number of 15-minute intervals. So what that means is that, um, for example, the first 15-minute interval is going to be, so let me go back up to the top to show you. The first 15 minute interval is going to be this column. The second 15 minute interval is going to be this column. And it makes sense because you can see this is the number of 15 minute intervals. And so we're just moving along this direction with the number of 15 minute intervals. So that's really easy. So we're just going to make that equal to one, or, or I'm sorry, equal to the number of 15 minute intervals. And we can see that's going to work um, up until um, that's going to work up until 96. But the problem is, is that at 96, it's it's 8.13, but then it restarts over at 9.54. So really what we want this one to be is if we do this correctly, we want that one to be 8.12. So we now need to fix the column. So the column, or um, yeah, the column, or the row number, now we need to fix the row number. We just, we just did the column. So the row number has to be the day, has to be the day of the year we're on. So if we look back at the raw data, our day of the year is going to be um, one 
here, and then when our day of the year changes, um, so it's going to be 1 here, it's going to be 2 here, going to be 3 here, and going to be 4 here. So let me just sort of make a little table in, in Word to show you um, what I mean. So, and, and so, so this is how it's really going to work. And let me um, make an insert a table here. So what I'm trying to show is that the um, day of the year and then the row number. So we need to see the pattern here. So the first day of the year is going to be the um, number one row number. And so we can sort of see that um, from here. The first day of the year, since we start here, is going to be one row number. The second day of the year is going to be the fourth row number. And the third day of the year is going to be the um, seventh row number. Okay, So let's go ahead and put that in. So 2, 4, 3, 7. So, and if we keep continuing this pattern, let's just go ahead and look at the fourth day of the year. So we'll insert a uh, row below so we can put that in. The fourth day of the year. If we look at the pattern, the fourth day of the year, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so now we have a pattern going. So, um, so what it turns out is that um, we can make a formula out of this pattern. And how we can do this is we can put the following formula. So let me just go ahead and insert it and write it in. That we're going to have that row number, let me spell that correctly, equals day of year minus 1 times 3 plus 1. So I knew what this formula was, but let's think about how we got to here. If we take the day of the year, take 1, minus 1, that's 0, times 3, plus 1, that's going to be 1. If we look at 2, it's going to be 2 minus 1, times 3, plus 1, that's 4. If we look at 3, 3 minus 1, which is 2, times 3, 6, 7. So this is going to work all the way down. So this is the formula we want to put in as our um, row index. So let's go back to Excel. And let's go ahead and put that in. So if we go to Excel and we look here, here's where we want the day of the year, minus 1 times 3 plus 1. OK, let's hit Enter. So we can see the 9.54 didn't change. If we go all the way down, so now if we go all the way down to after 96, we can see the 8.12 and the 8.09, that's here. 8.12, 8.09, and the next one should be 7.97. .97. So that's how we get our list of kilowatt hours used data. And this is going to be really important because we're going to use this for all the analysis that follows, not only with Excel, but with System Advisor model.